you'll find a special group of carpets at half price with padding and installation included. It's no mistake. Carpet your floor today at half price, take 12 months to pay, and Kaufman pays the interest. That's a sale you can't afford to miss. Kaufman, the carpet experts, we've got it all! Do you wish that you had a personal advisor to help you take control of your love life? Now use the power of the stars to understand your relationships. Discover who you're really compatible with. Find the love relationship that you really want. Learn the past and future paths that your love life travels. Call now on your touchtone phone. The secrets of the stars tell you how to take control. New York, dial 540-STAR, dollar 45, first minute, 50 cents each extra minute. I'd like to talk to you about a matter that affects every man, woman, and child in your family. Until now, you've only been able to watch The Cosby Show one time a week. Now that's going to change. Starting this fall, we're on this station five times a week. That's right, we're coming to your house five times a week instead of just once. Now, if that's still not enough, maybe you should consider moving in with us. At last, The Cosby Show, five times a week. Good morning, I'm Reg Wells, and this is what's happening. The candidates are off and running in the presidential race in this area. Michael Dukakis will deliver a major economic speech today, and we'll have a live report. We'll also go behind the scenes as police raid a clinic suspected of illegally dumping waste. Some New Jersey mayors say they'll take a dip to save some dough, and the Surgeon General says most Americans indulge in a diet that's killing them. We'll talk live to a nutritionist. And Pat Collins has a review of that strange character, Pee Wee Herman's new movie. All that and much more coming up today on the News at Noon. But now back to Richard Bay and people are talking. Good morning, Richard. Welcome back. In the last uh, segment, we talked about movie stars who had their features changed, uh, sometimes through many surgical techniques. My guest this morning, though, we were t we'll talk about what constitutes surgery and what doesn't, but he can perform magic, and a lot of it has to do with your skin. The skin that covers your body and the, the face that you show to the world. He's Dr. Louis Fetter. He's a dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon in private practice on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Please welcome him to the show. All right, now, how many times, how many times do you say, I wish I could take the fat here and move it somewhere else, or the fat here and move it somewhere else on your body? You can actually do that, can't you? Well. Fat suction is a, one of the newer and most active procedures being done today in the United States in cosmetic surgery. But then you put it somewhere else. You can. Sometimes it's just liposuction for sculpting. But one of the newer procedures being done is called lipotransfer, where we're taking fat from one part of the body, we wash the fat, and we can re-inject it in other parts of the body. Fat sculpting. What Now, where, where would you put the fat? Well, let's put it to you this way. Sometimes we have to just harvest fat from, say, the abdomen, and we can put it into the nasolabial areas or build up cheekbones. That's one aspect. Most patients come to my office and to most cosmetic surgeons and dermatologists to more or less make um, the body more sleek. For example, women get what's called the saddlebag, the, right. what's called the covette de cheval, right here, very commonly, and that can be helped. Men, for example, get love handles. Other people have double chins. And by a small incision here, for example, with, through liposuction, you can re-sculpt this area in here and get away that porky pig look. Many people very rounded faces and give them a more of a, of a, of a pretty uh, profile. Uh, no, you're handsome as can be, Richard. Come on. And, we, and give them more of a, a prominent angle here, more of a, a better profile. We have some pictures that demonstrate what yeah. can be done. Let's take a look at those pictures right now. Sure. Can we have those shots, please? There we go. Now, what are we looking at here? Nothing. You have to go a little lower. <laughs> They didn't shoot it off. They shot the picture wrong, right? Yeah, well, unfortunately, you see, this, this lady happened to have had a double chin, and she had liposuction at the chin, and... Well, now she has no chin at all. Right. And she didn't even have to go to the doctor for right. that. We just cut it right off well, on camera. She, in, in this instance, she had, a, she had a double chin, and the incision is made right underneath the, the chin area, and they sculpt it and give her a much nicer profile in here. Okay, let's move on to another technique that you talk about, though. Chemical peel and derma abrasion. Those are two separate kinds of techniques, well, aren't they? Exactly. Uh, the way I do it, and I've done about 3,000 of these, chemical peel and derma abrasion, I often do it together. Now, derma abrasion is, and chemical peeling are done for different indications versus a facelift. With a facelift, assume that the drapes are too big for the window. You've got to cut them. Right. In derma abrasion chemical peel, assume that your skin has been out in the sun and been weathered. And you can rejuvenate and really give a, a whole fresh new look to people who've had exposure to the elements, sun, 
severe acne, acne scarring, and it's a fine procedure for people who have active acne. Let's take a look at these pictures and see sure. what we can do with those. <laughs> there, now, we're, now what are we looking at here? This is a patient who, uh, unfortunately, they gave me the post-operative, but the point is, this patient had very severe active acne scarring. And he, he's injected in certain sites in the face, here, here, and here. There we go. There's yeah, this, this that's is what he before, like exactly. That's the before patient. Now, very soon thereafter, uh, during this procedure, which takes about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, the pain is really minimal. The, the whole face is plain down. Look at the difference in about, you're talking 15 days. 15 days? That's that right. That's difference. That's right. Now, how do you decide whether to do chemical peel or dermabrasion? It depends on the indication. I find now that I'm combining both procedures, and that's one of the things that I, is my specialty, where I, I believe that the results using together the both procedures, two and two can make 16. And I really love doing this procedure because lives can be changed, literally. Well, they say the third time's the charm. Let's go to the pictures for a third time, and hopefully we'll get them right this time. Liposuction, which is sucking fat right. Let's see the out of the body. Here. What do we have here? Oh, now, I should... Do you see this a little aspect there? That's the saddle bag that is often found in women. On the lateral aspect, it's not a very smooth contour. Liposuction to make a small incision right where the buttock meets the, meets the upper leg, the thigh, and liposuction is performed. And look at the difference, and how pretty she can look. That is incredible, yeah. isn't it? Isn't that nice? How yeah. long do you have to recuperate from this? Surprisingly, with that operation, you'll recuperate no more than three to five days. I have patients who wear a special girdle for about two weeks. Okay. That's nobody famous, right? That wasn't Celebrity Sloosh. I was in the turnaround, but I wasn't anybody <laughs> famous, exactly. Okay, let's take a walk over here because we have, I think, a guinea pig today. You say that you can remove spider veins. Right. It's called sclerotherapy. We don't remove them because the, the, most women, and rarely men, have these superficial varicosities and spider veins. They don't really bring blood back to the heart, but rather they're a cosmetic problem. They don't look well and women often complain that they can't go in their bathing suits and it bothers them and some women have varicose veins this is a variant of varicose veins and usually insurance will uh, pay for this for there's that a reason. picture of uh... right now, let's see a before and after you're going to see a, a patient who had the uh, the procedure before and then after let me see if we have that correct how, yeah, this is the after we just yep. saw the before how okay. soon do they disappear it depends on the area you're injecting it usually takes several weeks up to months and the procedure is very safe. I've done it in over 3,000 patients, and I think uh, the, the procedure itself is painless, um, and it does take some time, but it's the only treatment we have for that, because uh, otherwise, um, they'll just sit there. The, uh, the large varicose veins, very large ones, surgery is the answer. It must be simple to do, because we're going to do it in our studio right now. And when you see how, uh, how other things have worked, I'm sure our uh, guest this morning is getting very nervous. You'll recognize her as Miss Molly from Romper Room. <laughs> She just gave birth to her, uh, to her first child, yes. right? Yes. Charlie's six months old now, and he gave me spider veins. He gave you spider he veins? He gave me spider veins. You gave him life, and he I gave you him spider life. veins. He gave me spider Doesn't veins. sound like a good deal. Right. Okay, can we see where the spider veins yes. are? Very commonly, we see these in patients who've <laughs> given leg, birth. Richard. And you may see them also in patients who are on birth control pills, but mainly the, the consideration is one of inheritance. If, if your parents have them, your mother had them, chances are you may have them also. These are the very, very fine superficial varicosities, or uh, spider telangiectasia. Are we going to inject these? And these came out after the uh, pregnancy then? After the birth. Yeah, right. I didn't have these beforehand. Okay. <laughs> so what I do, I check the patient's pulses, just in general, as an examination in general. And she has a good medical history. She's on no medication. She's a young, healthy woman. And this is the most common area to find on the lateral aspect, and sometimes down here. But it yeah. bo bothers when they, they can't wear shorts, they don't want to go to the beach, and it's, the husbands say, don't worry about it. But the women come to me and say, do it, forget what my husband yeah. says. Okay, what are you going to inject her uh, with? Can you prepare that? Yes. I have a special solution that I've been using for many, many years called ethoxysclerol. And it, this, this medicine, what happens is it causes the vessel itself to stick together. Because, as I mentioned to you, the deep blood vessels bring blood back to the heart. These are mainly a cosmetic problem. So what I do is I take, take this solution and I put it into a, a, a glass syringe and with a very fine 30 gauge needle, I inject, I thread the little needle into the vessel and it's not painful, believe me. And then we inject the medication there. We keep some pressure there. You'll go home with, and put those special support stockings on for three days. You'll take some more vitamin C, which is also helpful to ensure the patency and the strength of the vessel wall. And you may need a few visits, but it works beautifully. Can you prepare your needle? I surely can. Are you nervous about this? I hate needles, Richard. Do you hate, do you hate your spider veins? Yeah, there? I don't like these either, no. What if I go for an audition for a legs commercial? And they say, hey, you got great legs, but you got spider veins. You can't do the commercial, so. You got a beautiful baby. <laughs> but I've got a beautiful baby. I do have a beautiful well, baby. Well, he's going to make spider veins fly away, right? Yes. 
As I mentioned to you, you have, may have to do the same area several times, but this is just a demonstration for our audience. How much does this cost? All right. Uh, we usually do it by the visit. Now, each ampule of medication runs about $125 to $150 per ampule of the medication. Mm -hmm. An average patient may have to come four to six times. And as I mentioned to you, being that it is a variant of varicose veins, it usually is reimbursable because varicose veins also can be treated with this if they're not too large. So what you're saying, will insurance cover this? Many times it does. Okay. Yes. But I'm only getting partial treatment today, so I'm going to only have half-treated legs now. That's right. Can I go back? <laughs> will you send me back, Richard, so I get send, the full send treatment? Send me back to him? Well, let's, we'll go upstairs and ask management okay. if, they'll, if they'll cover this. Okay, the doctor is now, preparing. We do now we put the medication into the glass syringe. Is everything sterilized here? Everything is all been sterilized. As you notice, everything we use in our offices, like most doctors, is disposable. Okay, can you prepare that needle and yes. hold it up to the camera I so the people at am. home can see it and gasp in shock? Can I change my mind, Richard? No. <laughs> can I tell you that the last time I had a needle, I fainted? Will you hold me if I pass no, out? No, you, you didn't. I you certainly didn't will. Okay. You didn't faint. Okay. Okay. Dr. Fetter is preparing that needle. When we come back, Miss Molly will lose, if you can, this is the needle right here, we're getting prepared for that. Miss Molly will lose her varicose spider veins here. We'll be right back in just a moment. Stay with us. pay more for the leading designer fashions and name brand merchandise you've always wanted. The 80 famous factory outlets and shops at the Hudson Valley's Woodbury Common Outlet Village can save you up to 70% off regular retail prices because you buy direct from the manufacturer. Woodbury Common for incredible outlet savings. Only 55 minutes from Manhattan at Harriman Exit 16 of the New York Thruway. Open seven days a week. Would you like an office job? This free booklet, published by the Job Placement Division of Apex Business School, could help. The job interview, how to dress, where the jobs are, what they pay, it's free when you come in for your interview about getting into our next six-month training program. Along with it, information about financial assistance towards your training you may be entitled to from the government. And look over the computer you get to keep when you graduate. Call us now, 242-0505. Time to rock and roll with Chuckles the Clown. We are waiting for the sound of your tone. You can be in the Chuckles Band. Just sing into the telephone. I'm gonna be in the Chuckles Band. I'm gonna sing into the telephone. That was fantastic. You really should be a recording star. I want you to be the next guest star at my party. So call right now. In New York, dial 540-2211. Dollar 45, first minute, 50 cents each extra minute. Children, ask your parents. When you've suffered an injury, time is important. Wait too long and you may lose the opportunity to collect any money for your loss. Call the Injury Helpline. Discuss your case with an attorney near you for free, one who practices in this field of law. You'll learn about the cost of pursuing your claim and you won't be charged any attorney fees unless you receive money for your injuries. Call the Injury Helpline now. 1-800-537-1880. Small businesses in New York provide over 45% of the jobs, but they lag behind firms nationwide in creating new jobs. One reason is that banks are sometimes reluctant to provide loans to small businesses, especially young and minority-owned firms. Chicago and Los Angeles do more to make public loans available to small businesses. New York would be investing in jobs, growth, and economic vitality if it followed their example. Molly here has been sitting on pins and needles. She's about ready to just sit on needles, though, in a don't moment. Don't move, he says. He says, move. don't move. I don't want you to move. As okay. Dr. Fetter right, now. gives her an injection that will help she her with her spider veins. These, yes. are, these are larger blue ones, which are unattractive, and they can be also treated, and these small little red ones. So the first thing we're going to do is put it into this larger vessel right here, this big blue one, right here. Notice how it clears? Do you see how the medication goes here and clears out the blood? Oh, yes. It's almost instant, though. Yeah. It, yeah, we put pressure right there. Put your finger right here, Molly. Great. I didn't feel now, it. 
Are, are you sucking <laughs> something out? Are you putting? I'm you're, injecting medication. And how does that get rid of the this vein? This medication lets the vessel stick together. It's a sclerosing solution. It causes the vessel to stick together, and therefore blood won't flow through it, and therefore you won't see these things. What you're seeing now is what's called deoxygenated blood, blood that's already gone through the arteries and supposedly going back to the heart. But it's a, this is a very inefficient way. It's like is it trapped there, or does it? It, it, it goes very slow. Let's put it that way. Uh -huh. This medication I don't shoots need the that blood. You don't, well, your your blood vessels, your deep veins, bring your blood back to your heart. These are just cutaneous. So it, it works well. In fact, I did it in my own family. And how did that feel? It didn't hurt. It, I mean, it felt like somebody stuck me with a pin. Right, now, Mayor, Molly, hold back, pull that back here. Okay. We'll do a few of the smaller, finer ones here. Notice this little area right here. Okay, yes, we can see that. You. I'm not going to look. You, you look, Richard, and tell me whether it's... I just want to see. It's amazing how quickly it disappears. I don't know if they can catch that on camera, but it, it's... As soon as you put the needle in, it just That's disappears. That one hurt? The alcohol went medication. into the hole. And it's done. But other than so that... Base, more medication But the needle now. itself, you don't even feel. No, the needle is... It's a really thin little needle, it's I fine, guess. It's, 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 doesn't like this, it's literally the diameter of a hair. Right, but what, what, believe what, me, Richard, it, I'm the, I really do hate needles. And if that hurt, I'd have been, on the, I'd have been back there fainting right now. What have we put into her body so far, though? About $300 worth or uh, $200 uh, worth? We put in about $125 worth. Not bad. Thanks, Richard. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not bad. But it is amazing, the difference and how... Yeah. And how sudden the difference well, takes place. Uh, Suddenly, over a period, you, you may look down in a week or two, but after perhaps a month, you'll look back there, and those vessels will be gone. And that's the beauty of this procedure. Is there a difference between spider veins and varicose veins? Varicose veins are larger in, in general and more tortuous, and ca they can be very painful. The very large ones, probably surgery, are, is, is indicated. If, it, if they're very painful, and they're a problem. But for the most part, most doctors today, unless they're really severe, don't recommend surgery for it because it's a very painful procedure and it's very involved and costly. How about try this one? If I turn around because that one's so bigger? Well, I'd be glad to work any way you wish. How's Let this over here? Fine. So they can see. That, could he? Now, do, this one. I've often heard that wearing high heel shoes will. Uh, uh, I don't really think high heel shoes. Crush your leg, like me, man. Uh, high heel shoes? Do, do I don't really think so. I, I think the pregnancy and taking birth control pills can contribute, but mainly heredity is the main reason why one uh, would, would develop these problems. Mary told me that because pencil, I have. Because I'm Irish, that Irish people well, are more susceptible. The, I'm not sure if you're more susceptible, but people with Celtic skin have fairer skin, and, it's, and your skin is thinner. And it's in general, women's skin is thinner than men. But when someone has this kind of a skin configuration, you see the vessels more easily than someone who's dark. Didn't Mayor Kant say something about that on his trip? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the whole of those ladies had spider veins. Exactly. Now we're okay. going into the vessel right here. If you know, can, can the camera get this? It's very I, interesting. Yeah. And very superficial here. And now what I'm going to do is just inject, and the whole thing, notice, Richard, you see how that's vanishing? It's amazing wow. how it just suddenly disappears. It's right under your skin. You think it's locked in there, the but it's like that. It comes right out. Right. So I think we showed uh, some, you know, characteristic areas. And the problem she has is pretty standard for many, many women after pregnancy. It's a young, healthy woman, and she gets these things, and they're very annoying cosmetically. How many injections would you do in a session? I usually use about two ampules of medication, which may involve 10 or 12 injections. And they come back uh, weekly or every two weeks, whichever is more convenient. And they wear the special stockings that we give them. And it really is a painless, very nice procedure. Most patients are very pleased. And over a period of time, they will go away. Every, oh, every patient will be improved. The amount of improvement depends upon the, the particular problem we're starting with. Molly? There's a little white lump yes. there. Is that's that okay. The, uh, that's, that's the medication. And we leave it there. It will be resorbed. It'll very, go into yes, the rest exactly. of the Yes, exactly. Molly, and thank it, you so much for being sure, our guinea pig this morning <laughs> on People Are Talking. Let me get some questions from out here in the audience, though. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Wait, ma Oh, I, have a, I have a question about the uh, saddlebag liposuction uh, so procedure, right? You, you have saddlebags. Oh, definitely. And you don't work for Pony Express. <laughs> no. Right, okay. And if, first of all, you put to sleep for the procedure. Second, how much does it cost? And third, more important, do they come back again? <laughs> very, very good questions. Firstly, I believe in that case, general anesthesia is indicated. We used to do it under, under uh, intravenous sedation, but it can be a little discomforting. So we usually give general anesthesia. Um, it's done either in the doctor's private operating rooms or a hospital. Um, the procedure itself runs, a pro if you do just this area here, runs anywhere from, from two to $4,000. Um, is it reimbursable by insurance? Usually it's not. And does it come back? It will not. Now, when you have uh, fat cells, fat What's cells... That? Even if you <coughs> eat a lot of something, you don't Let me explain to you. Uh, didn't you, you see Renee's segment? You can eat all the chocolate yeah, and the cake and the candy. The candy. So once once the fat cells are gone, they're gone forever. However, the fat cells that remain can get larger. But what's interesting about women, when women have liposuction done about the belly and the hips, their appetite goes down. There are fat receptors that are destroyed by the actual procedure, 
and after three or four months, the fat cells that have been divorced from its blood supply will die also. So you're getting two effects, immediately sucking out fat and fat that goes away several months thereafter. I'll bet you see a lot of grateful women, huh? Yeah, we do. <laughs> a, and men. A lot of men have it done, too. Okay. We're going to take a break right now. We'll be right back in just a moment with more of your questions. We'll also tell you about something that you may be doing wrong that seems so simple. Washing your face. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for the number to call for your free issue of Consumer Reports and your free gifts. How smart a shopper are you? When you're faced with all the different models, different features, and different prices. Almost too many choices. There's so much to choose from. There's so many choices. These speakers are detachable. And what about salespeople? I get confusing opinions. Uh, you're never really sure. The salesman was a big help, but like always, I think I overpaid for it. Some salespeople are not knowledgeable. Now, get the answer before you go shopping. In Consumer Reports, the nonprofit publication that's been turning consumers into smart shoppers for over 50 years. Call this toll-free number now for a free issue of Consumer Reports. Everybody needs an, an edge. We evaluate dozens of car models for performance, economy, and safety, and report the results to you month after month. And we report on video cameras, life insurance, breakfast cereal. Whatever you're shopping for, check the facts first in Consumer Reports. It's very difficult to evaluate products until you have them in your home for a while. That's why this is so valuable. Call now for your free issue of Consumer Reports. Then decide. When our bill arrives, pay it and get 11 more issues, 12 in all, for just $18. Or write cancel on the bill, return it, and owe nothing. Oh, well, this is just what I need. <laughs> if you do subscribe, you'll get The Medicine Show and the 1988 Buying Guide issue, all with your paid subscription, and all for just $18. By not accepting advertising, they're not pushing one product versus the other to get the pros and the cons of everything. Consumer Reports will make you a smarter shopper, too. Call toll-free 1-800-821-2100. That's 1-800-821-2100. If a member of your family has been killed or you've been injured through no fault of your own, you may be due a cash settlement or awarded money in court. Finding out won't cost you a dime, and the lawyer's fee can be a portion of the money you get. Talk to Davis and Lee. Simply dial L-A-W-Y-E-R-S. <laughs> Dialing lawyers will provide you a free phone consultation to learn if you may be due a cash settlement or court award. Welcome back. All right. Washing your face, soap and water, what's wrong with that? You know something, most patients, most people in general, don't know how to wash their face. Many soaps that you buy over the counter are all right for the average skin, but the point is, many soaps can dry the face. Um, I tell most of my patients, if they have what, what they're using is okay, doesn't bother them, fine. Many people consult me because they say, what is a good regimen? Because people just don't know how to wash. Okay, you First, make a line of 75 products, you're going to show us the right way to clean your face, well, right? Well, right. In, in general, uh, most of the over-the-counter uh, soaps are just that. They're terribly drying. I'm not going to mention any names negatively, but most of the things that were really big names made by some of the major corporations, they are very dry. Please don't lose me any more not, sponsors. We will not lose one sponsor. Lose, okay. the, 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 the trick is to cleanse without drying. Okay. So the first thing you got to remember is not to wash in hot water. You also must remember to avoid the very uh, heavy exposure to elements, the sun, the cold. What's so, wrong with hot water? Because the hot water gets you clean. No, it doesn't. That's a, that's a major fallacy. Hot water breaks capillaries, makes you flaky and dry, and makes you itch. You want to cleanse, use tepid water, middle. Do not use hot water. Cold water isn't as bad, but hot water, I've seen patients who have all kinds of broken capillaries, which we treat time and time again because people over the years are using hot towels, hot baths. Really? I, sometimes yeah. I take hot water on a towel and put it on my face thinking it's going to open the pores. Well, you know something? Pores. Opening pores is another uh, fallacy. One can open the pores just for moments. They're, they're not like little doors. For a moment, you can open them uh, during a shower. And I think it's important, if you have a problem with large pores, to express that sebum that's in there. The reason people get these black spots on their nose, it is, they're not blackheads. What it is, it's just sebum. It's that sebaceous material 
that gets dried and what's called oxidized and turns black. So if you keep those areas clean, you won't have those little black spots all through your nose. Okay. So if you have a patient such as this lovely lady here, this is a beauty bar that we make for our patients. It's pH balanced, it's neutral, it's a Castile double milled French uh, cleansing bar. And all I would do is just tell, tell the patient in general, we have no running water, so we'll just take a little uh, gauze like this and we'll rub it like that on the face and just gen gently uh, in, a, in a circular motion around the face is all she needs. You see, she has very oily skin all through right. here, yeah. and she has a low-grade acne problem. So she has to have a, a specialized regimen. She just can't use a bar over the counter. She needs somebody to tell her what to do. Okay, so it's very simple. So, so yes. I, um, my my um, friend. Yes. Um, her aunt sells me this Mary Kay product that I use. Do you like it? That's just for oily skin. Okay. Is it helping? It's my, you know, the acne's gone down a little bit mm -hmm. so But far. you see, acne, being, if you have an acne problem, you should see a doctor about it because you can't yeah, treat it yourself. You should see a dermatologist who can put you on a regimen yeah. and tell you what you should do. For example, get off your dairy foods. That's important. That's okay, the first let's, thing. Let's, Wash your let's hair. go through the cleaning, so though, so this, we can get through this. In this kind of thing right here, yes. in, a round, in a circular motion. Yes. And after this is... And then after the Basically, you can use your hands, though, if you're washing okay. at home with right. water, right? Right. I think a washcloth is fine, too. All well, her makeup's coming off. All right, off. so a pH balanced right. soap. And then we're going to clean this off a bit. Then I'm going to give her one of our astringent pads, which is a mild peeling astringent. It's made especially right. for... Why an astringent? What it, is that good for? Because it, it'll help degrease the face and cause a kind of a scaling peeling action. Now, here's one like this. As you notice, it's impregnated. Does it have alcohol in it? Yes, there is some alcohol. I would say, oh, alcohol. Alcohol is fine if it's not too, not too much. For example, witch hazel is terribly dry. I take one just like this. It doesn't even smell bad. And it has a mild peeling action to it, too. So it'll help slough off some of the superficial skin just over the whole face like this. And you should use this every time you take your makeup off. Well, I think a person like that, a patient like this, absolutely, she has, a, as you see, a low-grade chronic acne. She has, a, on a one to a six, I'd call her about a grade one and a half. She's also got an eye problem now. You got yeah. some of that in her eyes, no, I, I think. Yeah. Okay, you know? No, it's, it's no. just not. Can no, I right. ask you a question? You sure can. Um, my friend um, said that if you... keep you saying, but your friend, what about, this is like, this is like <laughs> I have a friend who has a problem. We know it's you, come no. on. My, no, my friend Anju, she said that if you rub alcohol on your face that, um, It'll clean your, your pimples if you well, want alcohol? Well, I think you should. It's not quite correct. I mean, it's not going to hurt you, but it's, it's awfully terribly dry. Right, the now, final step is what? In a patient such as this young lady, I normally wouldn't use a very heavy moisturizer because acne patients don't need any more oil. Like she's, most, most skin is mixed, oily, dry. In her case, it's the same. She has a low-grade acne problem. So I, in her case, I probably would not use a moisturizer. And if I did, I'd use a lanolin-free one. I didn't bring one along. We have a product called Norgenic, which is lanolin-free. This has some lanolin, so I normally would not use a moisturizer so on her. let me just recap. Three yeah. steps to wash your face. First, pH balanced soap. Right. Secondly, an astringent. A mild peeling toner astringent, yes. Third, a moisturizer, a if you have dry to normal skin. Yes, and in the summers, you'll, you'll probably have to use a moisturizer less, as opposed to the winter. Okay. If people want to get in contact with you or find out about your products, they can call this number, 212-535-8700. You also have a home video as well. Yes, we What do. will people learn on the home video? Well, the home video is right over here. It's, it's an hour's video. It's on collagen injections. I was the first to use the collagen on the East Coast. And liposuction and chemical peeling and beauty tips and uh, varicose and spider veins. It and might explain in more detail for people yes. who are considering some of those procedures. Sure. Dr. Lewis Fetter, thank you for joining thank us this morning on People Are Talking. Thank you. We'll be right back after these news headlines with Van Hackett and Reg Wells. Stick around. Thank you, Richard. Coming up next on the News at Noon, the crowd starts to gather as Michael Dukakis is off and running in New Jersey, where he's expected to deliver a major policy address. We'll have a live report. We'll also go behind the scenes as police raid a clinic suspected of illegally dumping infectious waste. Some tourists at St. Patrick's Cathedral see a sight they will not soon forget as bullets fly on Fifth Avenue. And love him tender, love him true. Is Elvis still alive? Some say you can talk to him on the telephone. And Pee Wee Herman is back on the big screen. Pat Collins reviews his new movie, Happy Long Socking. All that and much more coming up today on the news at noon. Is Elvis alive? Judge for yourself by calling the 900 number on your television screen. Hear what could be the incredible Elvis phone call. Listen to the newest and longest recording ever, just released from the original taped conversation purportedly of Elvis recorded about four years after the 16th of August, 1977. Call 1-900-909-ELVIS. Call now. Experience what may be the most shocking story of our time. Apex graduates are in demand for challenging, rewarding jobs. At Apex, you have program choices ranging from automotive to welding to air conditioning and refrigeration to auto body and diesel mechanics. 
Our six-month programs are designed to give you the hands-on, real-world experience employers look for. Shouldn't you look into your choices at Apex? Call 212-633-6300 for a tour of Apex. 212-633-6300. Today's dynamic music demands dynamic training. The Center for the Media Arts Recording and Audio Arts program ranges from basic sound theory to advanced synthesized music reproduction. In less than a year, you'll learn to mix and edit sound for video and film. You'll master recording techniques in CMA's 24-track studio complex. Interested? Call 212-929-6999. The Center for the Media Arts. The Leatherstocking region of upstate New York is a vacation wonderland, and one of the Leatherstocking's brightest star attractions is Howe Caverns. Rediscover the wonder. Rediscover Howe Caverns, just west of Albany. If you would like information on any of the topics we discussed today, call our hotline number, 201-330-3886. As we told you earlier in the show, we're going to be at the Newport Center. That is the week of August 22nd. It's a... Have you been over there yet? It's a beautiful the shopping mall. mall is beautiful gorgeous. Mall. Boy, did they do a great job building ah. this. We're going to have some great stars that week. Chippendales, we'll have Soap Star Hunks, we'll have the amazing Kreskin, and many other surprises. If you'd like to join us over at the beautiful Newport Center Mall, give us a ring right now at 201-392-TIXX. 201-392-TIXX. And say, I want free tickets to join People Are Talking at the Newport Mall. We are going to have so much fun. Well, you're going to have fun tomorrow, well, too. Yeah, I won't be here. I'm going to be in Miami Beach. Yes, he's going I'm to hosting, Miami. Uh, I'm hosting a beauty pageant over the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Life is tough. Your life is tough. What are you going to be doing tomorrow? Well, though? tomorrow while you're gone, we're going to talk to some people who have recovered from cancer. A lot of people are very afraid of cancer. They're afraid it's a death yeah. sentence, but that isn't true. We're going to talk to people who have recovered from cancer. We're also going to teach you how to do simple home repairs. Get those scuff marks off the line. And line. filling in for me will be my good friend, Bob Grant, from WABC Radio. He's going to be yes, filling in Bob for me Bob Grant tomorrow. and Renee Hamblin. So be now, good to him. There's a I hope you'll join him tomorrow live at 10, along with Renee. Now, as always, all our best. Take care. Bye-bye. Promotional considerations provided by the Meadowlands Hilton. Pastry for our studio audience provided by Speakerman's Bakery with four locations to serve you. Transportation for some of the guests of People Are Talking is provided by Quality Limousine Service, home to the 40-foot stretch. me 19 years, but I finally developed a good relationship with my body. New OB Slender Regular is the tampon for those of us who are a little more sensitive about our bodies. New OB Slender Regular. It's gonna hurt. People but high standards for itself. We're going to have a Justice Department that isn't the laughing stock of the nation. We're going to have a Justice Department that understands what the word justice means. We're going to have nominees to the federal bench who are men and women of integrity and intelligence and who understand the Constitution of the United States.
we're going to have an environmental protection agency that is more interested in stopping pollution than protecting the polluters? We're going to have a real war and not a phony war against drugs. And my friends, we won't be doing business with drug-running Panamanian dictators anymore. We're going to have a vice president who won't sit silently by when somebody at the National Security Council comes up with a cockamamie idea that we should trade arms to the Ayatollah for hostages. <laughs> 